Okay, this is my cool little video of my Pro Tools rig, which is going back into the garage when I get everything done. But this is my Digi 192, which was very expensive when I got it 10 years ago. I put the card, corresponding card, uh, PCIe card in my Hackintosh, which is a quad core i7 uh, with 16 gigs of RAM running on a 500 gig SSD. And here it is. Hi, Sierra. Now the trick, I'm going to go through the, in the uh, restart, which is pretty nifty. So I'm going to pull this USB out of here. It's set up to start off the USB drive that's in the back of the computer. So I don't have to hit F12. This is the exciting part here. And here's my choices. I don't have uh, Windows on this, just Mac. So, boot Mac OS from OS system. This particular setup doesn't have any um, code running. This is a, a Tony Mac system. Uh, a little bit of a trick getting the uh, full graphics. There's no, I don't have the video, uh, NVIDIA drivers installed here. I had to do it with the, uh, what do you call it? I had to program in the settings. Anyway, there's my password. And you can see it comes right up. Now here's the fun part. This is my, now this is the loader for 10.3.9. I don't have the money to buy Pro Tools 12 right now. I eventually will, but there's my loader. I haven't set it up with the, okay. So it's going to give me a few errors and it gives me that error. It gives me that error. And I'm going to open up a previous thing. And there we go. There is Pro Tools 10.3.9 running on my High Sierra. Now, uh, the trick I had this took me about a week <laughs> to figure this out. Um, when you do the install for 10.3.9 Pro Tools, it looks to make sure you're running Leopard or OS or Snow Leopard, or if you're not, it won't install. Um, so there's a guy who showed how to actually decompile the install and take that check out of the uh, installation and then recompile it. And then you have to do that and then you have to crack it, uh, which didn't really work. And then the, uh, the loader was written in an earlier version of the operating system and I had to mess with that in something called Automator, which I really don't understand and somehow I did it. And then I had to put the hacked version of the Pro Tools app from this Chinese guy hacked it. But anyway, uh, it took me a while to figure that out. But there's Pro Tools. Uh, I don't have any um, any extra plugins at the moment. I'm gonna go do with that, deal with that tomorrow. And I'm not gonna make a video of that because that's just a lot of crazy stuff. I don't want to have people see. But there we go. There's Pro Tools 10.3.9 running on my Hackintosh running High Sierra. And I'm gonna quit and it's gonna give me an error that it's corrupted and then reinstall it, but I'm not gonna do that because it works. 